Yo, what is happening everybody? Magnification today I'm here guys with Ruby Volume 6 chapters 4 to 6. So last time on Ruby. It's even hard to fucking describe what happened last time. <laughs> last time was fucking insane. Chapter 3? Goddamn. I talked way too much in there. I think that was probably the longest fucking discussion I had on Ruby. That was a crazy ass. Just info dump on your face by Rooster Teeth just like throwing all the fucking lore of the world at us uh, at once in one chapter. Uh, one thing that I didn't mention, I think, I believe at least I didn't mention that last time, was that this one was most definitely, like without a shadow of a doubt, my favorite episode in Ruby so far. Okay, like by far, guys, like you guys have no idea. That is my fucking favorite chapter. Uh, will be interesting to see if it ever gets topped. Honestly, that is gonna be hard. But if it does, I'm gonna give a uh, Rooster Teeth props for that. Definitely. Uh, I can see it, 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 it topping that for sure. But also, it's gonna be hard. Okay, it's gonna be hard. That was fucking phenomenal. Uh, that was next level stuff. Really love that one. Um, yeah. Uh, anyways, I watched lots of reactions to that, as you would expect. <laughs> and it's funny because I watched a lot of Ruby reactions from volumes 1 to 3. 4 and 5, I didn't really watch a lot. And the reason why is because I didn't like the volumes as much, you know, as, uh, uh, volume 1, I don't like it much, but I like to watch reactions to it because it's the introduction to everything, right? To the characters and everything, so it's important even though it's not that good. Uh, it could have been done better and the animation, you know, and everything. Old animation, not that good, but yeah. But with V4 and 5, no, it didn't really feel like... Some moments are, are pretty good, but like overall speaking, you know, not something I want to rewatch again with reactors. But, dude, Volume 6... That shit was so crazy that I like, as soon as I got done recording that, guys, I went to watch reactions to it. <laughs> you guys have no idea. That was fucking insane. And uh, while I was watching reactions, I actually noticed things that, like, I didn't at first. You know, things that the, the actual people uh, commented on, you know, in the reactions. And I was like, oh, damn, true. That's right. What the fuck? How the fuck did I didn't realize that? So first off, one thing that, like, was fucking insane is that in the OP... Uh, in the, the very beginning of the OP, we see the moon, and we see the moon, like, you know, uh, the moon is whole, and then it gets broken. And like, dude, that was so crazy foreshadowing right there, if that we were gonna have some moon lore in this season, man. That was crazy. Well, how the fuck did I didn't notice that? I didn't even realize the, the, the moon. Like, you know, I didn't pay much attention to it. I, I think I probably saw it, but I, you know, didn't really pay much attention to the fact that it was a big thing. <laughs> and I had no idea. Uh, another thing that I also... Like, I didn't even think about, but people were commenting on that. And I was like, oh, damn, true, true. How the fuck did I fucking didn't notice that? Uh, which is the mysterious person in the OP, right? Which at first I was like confused who that was. Then they revealed that to be to be uh, Cinder. But we have the hat, right? Which I noticed, but I wasn't sure completely what that was. But people were like saying that that was uh, Roman's hat. So because of that. Uh, they were theorizing that the mysterious person was Neo, and I was like, oh damn, what the fuck? How the fuck did I forget Neo, dude? <laughs> like, I didn't even remember her. God damn. Makes sense, though, that people would theorize that. But it has already been confirmed that that's not it. It has already been confirmed that that is Cinder. We even see her at one point with a blade that Cinder creates, right? Uh, the weird blade that she summons to fight. We saw her with us, so like, yes, that's pretty much confirming that that's, that's not Neo. But why did they have the hat, though, in there? Roman's hat. I don't know. That is something to keep in mind. That's something that I didn't, like, really pay much attention to in the first one, the first video, but, yeah, since I watched some reactions to it, I definitely did now. Uh, so I should be... I should, I'm, I'm gonna, like, keep my eye out on that, you know what I mean? If we do get, like, more hints that Neo could possibly return here, not gonna lie, I would fucking scream and lose my voice if Roman returned. I would probably fucking die on camera if Roman returned. Sadly, I don't think that's gonna happen. 
Because, yeah, everyone's thinking about Neo. What if it is Roman? But no, he was eaten by the fucking Raimi. That's impossible. Which is fucking sad, man. He he's <laughs> he, was, he was one of my favorites. But, yeah. Anyways, uh, with that out of the way, I think that's pretty much all I want to mention here. Like, people are also doing crazy theories and stuff. I like how everyone <laughs> that I watch, at least, all their theories were completely off. Like, no one was able to predict what uh, Chapter 3 was going to be like. What uh, the story, the, the reviews were going to be. No one that I watched, at least, like I said, were able to do that. So that's, that's crazy. Rooster Teeth did really uh, surprise us. That was fucking crazy. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to see where we go now uh, with uh, V6. I get the feeling that 3, that chapter 3, is going to be basically the one of the highest points, if not the highest point, of, uh, of V6. I would love if that wasn't the case, though, and we actually get some more interesting stuff probably will yeah I, i'm just gonna jump into it and see because yeah you know like even though that's probably gonna be the highest point of the fucking volume we are probably gonna have some crazy stuff as well hmm. yeah let's just get into it and and see okay chapter four called uh so that's how it is hmm. all right all right everyone so i'm gonna start this in three two one and now all right Richard. This OP. Dude, this OP. This OP, I think, is my favorite. Like, because of little things like that that I didn't notice at first, like the Mo here. It's my favorite OP, I think. Stay close, move fast. Dude, so good. So good. <laughs> so good. I'm sorry, like. I already liked it for little things like Adam here. You know, Adam in the reflection of the window. This. I already liked it because of this. The song is also really good. Like, man. If it isn't my favorite, it's definitely up there. The sparrows born to fly the mountains tower. Dude. In Salem. <laughs> yep. Watching everything and... Anyone? This, all the past lives. I didn't even realize that that's that that was uh, all the past lives before I watched the uh, three. You know, I feel dumb now. Not gonna lie, because I was watching some people reacting to this OP for the first time and they noticed so much stuff that I didn't. <laughs> God damn, man! I gotta be more analytical of things. All right. I can't wait to listen to the full version of the song. That's gonna be fucking hype. So excited for that. Salem can't be killed. Yeah, she can't. You all heard her too, right? Yeah, pretty much. So, like, what do we do now? Uh, there was so much you hadn't told us. How could you think that was okay? Yeah. Yeah. Professor, what is your plan to defeat Salem? He doesn't have one. I. <laughs> I guess a lot of that was hidden from Crow as well, right? Me. I was cursed. Oh! I gave my life to you because you gave me a place in this world. I thought I was finally doing some good. Bad luck charm playing in the background. Meeting you was the worst luck. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, this is so good. Holy shit. Starting off strong with this, um, this chapter. Got it? Maybe you're right. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, what's up? What happened? He's gone. What? Tell him we're not done yet. No. What? No. No. How? What? It's like he's locked himself deep inside my head. The fuck? Ah, what? He can do that? I wanted to stop. He just left us. What are we gonna do now? Enough. I no idea. Oh, the old lady. Okay. It'll be dark before we know it, and every one of you is... Who's the voice actress? I gotta know. I really like her voice. There's a trail over there. Trails usually lead somewhere. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know who you think you are, but no buts. No buts. <laughs> nice. I understand that you're upset. Yeah. 
Honestly, I'm still coming to terms with the fact that this is humanity's second yeah. time around. But if we don't move, I like how this old lady she uh, got to learn everything as well, right? This law yeah. gets to die out here. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. No, she's right. Yeah, Come let's on. go. Let's keep on going. But yeah, I was still confused. I was still like wondering if Crow knew about everything or not. But yeah, he didn't. Wow. And this is the OP playing, isn't it? Wow. A, a fucking strings version of it. <laughs> to be another one of his lives, aren't I? Of course not. You're your own person. Oh. <sighs> Whoa. We're better than that. Yeah. God damn. I'm sorry. I'm fangirling way too hard over this. This is so good. <laughs> Man. I'm fucking liking this volume so much. I hope it stays that way. Whoa. Who's coming here? To Salem's place. Is it uh, Hazel and everyone else? Returning from the mission? Cause that's a ship from Haven, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yo, is Salem gonna be mad at them? Gonna be like... I don't know, let's see. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> and Cinder's gone! <laughs> Which is fucking crazy. Welcome back, welcome back. Oh, Bina Wise is with Solzirian, man! Nice! I miss you! Speaking of which, where is our Thor mate? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Darian? Emerald, come on. Yeah. Don't tell you. me something happened to her. <laughs> I love this guy so much. The way he speaks. <laughs> I will cut off more than just your tail. Oh, shit. Scary. Careful, little girl. <laughs> Oh, oh, creepy! Whoa! Creepy as fuck, dude! What the fuck? Back off. What the fuck got ya? She has Mercury at least. Oh, don't misunderstand. I am in mourning just as you. Huh. Because it appears you failed our queen. And that is a tragedy. Indeed! <laughs> <laughs> It's guy! I love him so much. I always love the fucking psychopath characters. I would like you to explain to me how it is you failed <laughs> so spectacularly. Oh shit. Whoa, is she gonna kill some of them? Our forces. Stop. Let me rephrase the question. Okay. Who is responsible for your defeat? Um. I take full responsibility. But that wouldn't be fair now. Oh, shit. Right? We all know who's truly to blame. I don't. <laughs> Oh, damn. Shit. Emerald. Hmm? I want you to tell me whose fault this was. <laughs> Cinder. Okay. 
Ma'am? I want you to understand why Cinder must be left to toil in her isolation until she redeems herself. Okay. So she's gonna give her a second chance. You mean... Redeem herself? She's alive. No. You're joking. How could you know that? Huh. Are you questioning our divine savior? <laughs> <laughs> you... Yeah, don't question her. <laughs> of course not. Forgive me. Huh. <laughs> It's important not to lose sight of what drives us. Love, justice, Yo. reverence. Huh. Huh. But the moment you put your desires before my own, <laughs> they will be lost. Sure. Man. Oh, shit. That was stressful. <laughs> This is simply the truth. Yeah, it's just the truth. The path to your desires is only found through me. Yes, I believe you. Okay. I wouldn't go against her. Okay. Dude. And so we must press on. All right. All right. The sword under Vacuo's academy, Shade. Ma'am. What? I have more to report. Okay. You dare to interrupt me? Crow and the children are taking the lamp to Atlas. Oh, okay. <laughs> and oh. I can help. Oh, it. oh. And they're being led by Oz. <laughs> yep. Yep. Let's see how she reacts to this. So soon. He's the only man with a chance of getting through to Ironwood. If that happens, it... Oh, shit. Ooh! Everything's gonna break! Leave. Ah! Oh, Grace, I can... Leave! Just leave, dude! Just leave! Just gonna fuck out! Just gonna fuck out! Just do it. Just do it. Come on. Obey her. Isn't she your fucking queen? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he just got out. <laughs> Calm down, Salem. Yeah, she's. Wow, damn, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say she was able to calm herself down, but no, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't, she, she did. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. So, okay, she was planning on going to Vacuo, but I guess, like, her plans are gonna change, basically, right? It doesn't look like this is gonna let up. And she's just gonna go to Atlas, I feel like, at least. Let's hope we don't have to walk all the way there. I thought trails led somewhere. Do you have nothing better to do than to harass a defenseless <laughs> old lady? Everyone quiet. Okay. Did you hear that? What? What is this? Huh. They just ran into like a, a farm or something? A, a little village? What is this? Oh, a farm. Well, okay. At least one good thing happened today. Hmm. It looks abandoned. It's still better than this. Mm, yeah. Come on. I think we could all use some yeah. rest. We definitely could. Let's go. Okay. All right. Damn. That was the end of uh, chapter four of volume six. Pretty good chapter. Uh, so one thing that like I, I also heard people mention. Okay, guys. Forgot to talk about that. I'm going to do it now. Something that I, that, um, I saw people mention that is really interesting. Makes sense a lot. Um, is that Ospin is lying to everyone, right? He's always trying to cover up the truth. Because... In the past, when he said the truth, right? The only time I think he said the truth um, about his mission was when he told Salem about it. And yeah, after that, you guys know what happened, right? She killed him. And probably, I don't know if she killed the kids as well that were in there, but that, that battle of theirs uh, destroyed the fucking castle that they lived at. 
So possibly all the children died as well, uh, which is pretty fucked up. Um, but yeah, all of that happened because he said the truth. So that's basically why he's lying, right? Because the truth fucked him up real hard. So he's always lying, trying to fight uh, the war, you know, uh, on his own, pretty much. He has his allies and stuff, but he's never, you know, completely true uh, about it. But like this time, this time it was too late. He he tried his best to stop them from learning the truth, but no, they know now. And he just fucking goes away, which is fucking crazy. He just goes away. The fuck? You know, he just like, for a second, I thought he straight up somehow went away from this body and like went to another body or some shit. But no, he can't do that, I guess. He just locked himself in the depths of uh, Oscar's consciousness or something. It's pretty crazy. I wonder what the fuck he's planning. Because, like, you know, I, I said he's fighting his war on his own, right? Pretty much. He's he's doing everything on his own. He's the only one that knows the truth of the, the Judgment Day and all that shit, right? But what the fuck does he plan? Like I said before, isn't he just keeping the relics locked up? He could get all of them together and, and summon the gods, but he doesn't want to do that. Probably because he knows that, that you know, the world is divided. <sighs> and they wouldn't like that. But he... I also can't defeat Salem. She just can't be defeated. So like, what is gonna happen now? I don't know. <laughs> so like, like I said, I have no fucking idea what the finale is gonna be. No idea. Like, no fucking idea, man. Whatever it is, should be crazy. But yeah, this chapter was was really good. I liked it. I like how um, Crow just punched Oscar, Ospin, Oscar. You guys know what I mean. Um, punched him and. Uh, yeah, uh, was nice seeing Tyrion this episode too. Pretty nice. Uh, really like him. Fucking crazy ass motherfucker. <laughs> His laughs and everything. I miss him, man. I fucking miss him. I like how he was like proposing to go on his own to stop them, try to stop them. But you no know, Salem. I guess Salem is gonna like uh, get them to Atlas. I feel like because now she knows that that they are going. And yeah, that was basically the scene like uh, her like screaming. It was basically the scene from the. From the opening too, so that's cool. We're like slowly getting every scene from the opening, you know? That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys. Uh, chapter 5 is called uh, The Coming Storm. Alright. Let's get into that. The Coming Storm. Don't wonder um, what that's re referring to. But yeah. They are in a safe place now. Safe place? Who knows if it is really safe or not. It looks like it's abandoned, but yeah. Maybe it's not going to be that safe after all. Who knows? We'll see. Move fast. Fucking love this opening. Um. But yeah. Uh, what else do I have to say? Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. They are in this abandoned farm. Is it just gonna be a place that they're gonna stop at and then continue on uh, on their journey, or are we gonna have something in this farm? We'll see. Yeah, this was the scene. <laughs> Good stuff. One thing that like I I'm still confused about are the veins that she has in her face and her hands and everything, right? Like, why does she have that? When uh, in the flashbacks she did, she looked fucking great. Well, let's say, like I, I said that last time, she looked amazing. Okay. Nowadays, not as much. Like I don't really dig the the hair and the veins. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Let's go, man. Chapter five. Have my information. Oh shit, Cinder. Of course I do, darling. Lil Miss always delivers. Okay. Although I can't promise you. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Word is they were seen boarding the Argus Limited a few weeks back. Well, that isn't exactly far from here. Hmm. Argus is rarely a destination for folks. Hmm. Chances are they'll be going straight to Atlas. Atlas yeah. What? <laughs> you figured that out right away. We don't need to tell yeah, her that. To be quite the interesting oh, really? Why? Cinder. Yeah, she knows you. She knows you. It's not often a single client brings me 
double the business. Oh shit. Wait. Mm. <laughs> She takes it back! She takes it back! Dude! No way! Uh, uh. And she has a song! Man! Too bad they kinda spoiled that with the OP. They shouldn't have done that. God damn it. Yo! Nice usage of the fucking umbrella! What is she doing? Yo! Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Yo! Yo, that's cool! That's cool! Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh! Be careful, Neo! That's enough, ladies! Are you? I love dinner and the show. But it's time to take it outside. Fair enough. <laughs> oh shit! They're taking it outside. <laughs> Breaking the fucking. Oh, oh shit. Nice yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the her semblance. You've gotten stronger. So have I. Oh, yeah, both have. Oh shit. Oh, the hat. She has the hat. Night. I don't have time for your misplaced blame, girl. I didn't kill your boss. If you want revenge, take it up with Little Red. Oh, she doesn't <laughs> give a fuck about <laughs> what you have to say, Cinder. You're not the only one with a grudge against Ruby. Listen. Oh. Your time fighting me. <laughs> and let's discuss how well, we okay. Together. They're gonna work together? Probably, right? I feel like. Okay, then. Let's talk. You're gonna talk and she's gonna listen. She's not gonna talk. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was it. Just... Damn. Alright, so I gotta pause this here. Okay, I gotta pause this. I can't afford to fucking. Not pause. Uh, after what just fucking happened. So Neo is back. They gave her a song. They didn't pay much attention to the lyrics, but like something about retribution and stuff, which makes sense. She's like fucking mad at Sinner trying to kill her. Um, I Like I said, I don't like much that they had the hat in the OP. Like I didn't even notice that, but like when I watched reactions, I saw how people were freaking out over that. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, so they are teasing a, a possible Neo return. But it already happens, like, kind of early on, I gotta say. Chapter 5? Goddamn. Already. So I guess, like, she's gonna end up working with Cinder and they're gonna end up um, trying to kill uh, Ruby together, right? That was a really good fight scene, I gotta say. The animation, I like how the animation here isn't, isn't bad, you know what I mean? Like, in V5, we had some really bad animation. I think that V6, they probably had a little bit more of budget. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like at least, you know, the animation here is pretty damn fucking great in this uh, volume so far. But yeah, Mew is back. That was pretty crazy. That was pretty random. Like, out of nowhere, Neo was just there. I love how they tease. Dude, I have to watch reactions to this later. I love how they tease. They, they started with the fucking... They started with her boots. Then they showed the fucking umbrella, right? She just, like, got the umbrella ready. So, like... <laughs> by then, you just gotta know it was uh, Neo. There's no way you wouldn't know, right? But, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's keep going here. Okay. I don't get it. Wow. The empty towns I passed through were all damaged huh. or unfinished. But this one isn't? But this place looks fine. Interesting. So maybe there are people still living here. Maybe everyone left in a hurry. Before things took a turn. Hmm. hmm. It's locked. Stay on guard. Yeah, there might be people inside here actually. Hmm. Okay. Close the door already.
already. It's cold enough in here as it is. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I saw a chimney from the outside. Maybe we could get a fire going? Please, I'll look for some blankets. Okay, go with it. All right. Yeah. Don't split up. I always stay together with someone else. Um, what is this? What was that? Doo -doo. Some pictures. I want to see the pictures. Okay. Uh, just trying to see if I can recognize any of these designs. Something doesn't feel right. Like what if someone was? Let's look for some. Weiss! Shit. Dude, they are teasing us. Oh shit, that's dark. That's fucked up. Damn. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Well, okay, another pause real quick. So uh, what I was gonna say is that, uh, you know, maybe like, since they are showing us the picture and stuff, maybe we are supposed to recognize some of those designs. Maybe it's like a character that we have seen in the past or something, right? Uh, but then, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's really it. Because then they show that, like, there's two people fucking dead upstairs. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Who's this? Okay, Crow. That scared me for a sec. It's the same in every house. What? Oh, damn. Bodies, every bed. Wow. Every home. Why? What the it's fuck? Like the whole estate just went to sleep and never. Yeah, woke that's up. pretty suspicious. And we're not staying here, right? Yeah, I, I wouldn't sleep in this place, man. I wouldn't sleep in this place. We're getting worse. We freeze to death before we made it anywhere. Dude, that's yeah, that's pretty fucking ominous. Well, might as well get comfortable. I wouldn't if I were you, old lady. Yeah, fat chance. <laughs> okay, then. Let's do something. If this place wasn't abandoned, it might still have supplies we could use. Okay. Hey, yeah. Maybe even a car. Hmm. I'll do another sweep of the grounds. Fair enough. All right. No one else goes anywhere. Wait, it was a big, alone. big family, right? Apparently. Yang and I can search the other buildings for vehicles. Fine. Whatever gets me out of this house. <laughs> okay. Yang is gonna be with the old lady? Because Ruby's going. Oh no, okay, Ruby was just uh, closing the door. Food always makes me feel better. <laughs> just saying. Right. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what. You keep that fire fed. And I'll find us a story <laughs> to read before bed. Okay, Grandma. <laughs> but they gotta be careful, man. This place is really suspicious. Like, I I'm feeling like it's probably a Grim, isn't it? Like, it's gonna be a Grim. It gotta be. A Grim that, like, did something. Like, when when they sleep, maybe? It, do it attacks or something? I don't know. Something tells me that's not street legal. No. Well. What do you think happened here? There's that well in the square. Maybe water contamination? Yeah. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Why would everyone die when they went to sleep? Hey, are you okay? Everyone, straight up. Yeah. It's pretty damn suspicious. I mean, no. But, I don't know. I'm just tired. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. A scene hey, with... I found something. Oh. Okay. A scene with only Yang and Blake. That's something I have been looking for for a while. And then... What is it? I... Shit. It's PTSD. God damn. I was damn. just seeing things. I'm sorry. 
Party Ang, man. I still get flashes from that night. Wow. Do you think Adam's still out there? I don't know. If he went back to the White Fang, there would have been serious consequences. Yeah. But he never really liked people telling him what to do. Yep. Adam's strong, but his real power comes from control. He used to get in my head, make me feel small. But now I see he just wanted to pull me down to his size. Yeah. Hey, I'm not leaving. And if we ever see him again, I promise I'll be there. Nice. And I'll protect you. What? What? Forget it. Hmm. Let's just head back. Okay. But what about... We're fine. We can hook that flap it up to Bumblebee in the morning. Oh, all right. All right. Man, oh man. Yeah. What's up? Little bar? There. Nice. Hmm. On second thought, maybe we should keep this room closed. Huh? Yeah, crow. Just... Not sure how yeah. well my uncle's taking all of this. Huh. He can't see the fucking oh. booze. Come on. We'll never get to Atlas on an empty stomach. Yeah. Ruby? What? Are we really still going to Atlas? Huh. Why wouldn't we be? I mean, you heard what Jen said. If there's no way to kill Salem, then what's Oof. the point in all of this? Yeah. Why? You can't be serious. Sorry, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I I'm just really tired and I really, really hate this place. Huh. Anything in there? What is this? More yeah, mar marboos. At least we'll never have problems starting a fire. <laughs> What's that? Wow. Oh shit. Um. Um. A wine cellar. Great. <gasps> what? What is it? Food. Nice. Canned food. Better than oh, nothing. You put enough salt on anything and it will taste <laughs> just fine. Okay. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, something tells me there's I something. So seriously hate this place. There's something in there. There's something inside that thing. Yep. Yep. Yo. Dude, this is like kind of a. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of the, the chapter. This is kind of feeling like a fucking um, horror fucking show, you know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of scared, not gonna lie. I don't know, like, the mystery. I like the mystery. They are doing a great job of uh, making this very mysterious because, like, is it is it a Grimm that did something to them when they slapped? Maybe. But what is down there? You know, like, something is down there, something alive. Maybe it is a Grim. Maybe not. It wouldn't make sense if it was the same Grim that killed everyone to be down there because he's uh he's stuck in there, right? So like yeah, maybe it's not a Grim. Maybe it's a person that is I don't know. It could be a lot of different things. So I'm liking the the mystery and how they are building up to that mystery. Really good. Really eerie, you know. I like the 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 OST and the uh, the sound design, you know, like just the the sound of the blizzard outside. Dude it was really good. I like that we had both um, interactions of the main pairs, right? Ruby and Wise and uh, Blake and Yang. Really good stuff. Blake, of course, uh, saying that she will protect Yang, but Yang is not going to take that quite easily after what happened last time. It's not the same. It's not going to be easy to just say that and, you know, that's it. We're good. No, it's not going to be that easy. And also Wise asking like what the fuck is the point of all of this if we can't kill Salem but that's not a really good way of thinking honestly but 
it is something that's gonna come into play eventually right no matter like we can follow through we can get out the radix we can do all we have to do but like eventually we're gonna have to face up against salem and you know it makes sense that they are questioning themselves already um but yeah anyways i think i'm just gonna jump into the last one of this watcher okay guys uh chapter six yang and uh and blake were able to find a thing that they are gonna be able to use okay to carry everyone tomorrow but they have to survive today still right before that happens because i feel like we're gonna have a battle of swords in this uh, chapter probably chapter six so yeah um this should be pretty interesting crew is out there looking i like how like everyone is in pairs and crow is just on his own <laughs> he's too much of a badass to need a pair but yeah uh let's just fucking start uh chapter six alone in the woods damn another fucking eerie uh title for this uh already pretty eerie you know little uh sequence of chapters that we are having yeah let's fucking go all right guys so um alone in the woods i'm wondering here i think that this title probably like refers to it could be about everyone but you know because alone in the woods i'm thinking it probably is referring to crow since he's alone right so yeah this should be interesting like um if they are gonna because I'm thinking here, right? Uh, and the way these sets have been divided for me. Um, I think we are probably gonna have... Mm, I don't know, honestly. We are probably gonna have like a Grim that is causing all of this and we're gonna fight it in this chapter. Uh, but I also can see this being more of a cliffhanger too. Because we already had like enough action with the Neil stuff in this... Uh, in this set, to be honest, we had lots of uh, really crazy stuff. Um, so if this doesn't have like a battle or something like that, it's gonna be more of a transition set, right? Uh, but it would make more sense if we got that in this uh, chapter. We got a fight in here. We'll see. I don't really mind, you know, like if I, I don't mind it not having a fight. As long as it's uh, well done, the chapter can be about just character interactions like the previous one was. Pretty fucking good uh, chapter. Okay. Um. <laughs> Come on. And Ruby. Don't know why I say that like that. <laughs> All right, bro. Is a little bottle so of alcohol? Just up for now. We should be able to leave by morning. That's good. No. No. I don't have a good feeling about this. Yeah, place. me neither. This is fucking. Especially with me around. Oh, because yeah, bad luck. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Tell everyone to get some sleep. I'll wake you guys up just before sunrise. That's not a good idea. Not a good idea. I wouldn't fucking sleep here at all, man. Like everyone is dead on their beds. It's a diary. But you know, meaning that they went to the sleep head of and. This household, Bartleby. Bartleby, okay. He and several other families founded this little they went to sleep. And, live on their own. and they fucking died. It sounds like it worked. So like at pretty fucking suspicious. Grim. Just one of many hardships. Hmm. Slowed down their farming, made everything harder. It's a shame, really. Hmm. He seemed like quite the ambitious fellow. Interesting. Always thinking of new schemes to overcome the odds. Hey, guys. Crow said we should get some sleep. We're going to head out early tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right, all right. The last thing you'll catch me doing is letting some kid do <laughs> Okay. Bed. <laughs> He's not doing that. Just fucking gonna read. Fair enough. Tell us a bad story, Grandma. Alright. Oh, it's daytime already. And they are alive. Good.
Damn, even crows left, huh? Okay. Goddamn, that's scary. Close the window. Huh. Uncle Crow. Come on, get up. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, we overslept. Huh. Oh, they did? Huh. What's up? Uh, what? Huh. Oh, right. Sunrise. Yeah. The fuck is up with this? You know, you can talk to me about stuff. Yang too. Nice. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> okay, girl. Bad luck charm, but this time, um, there. Piano version. I just love the st. If we're all so tired, maybe we should make breakfast. You want to make it? Not really. <laughs> yeah, this is it. You guys got the bike ready? Hmm. Well, it's done now. So let's hook this thing up and... Um... Are you serious? <laughs> you people are just beacons for bad luck, aren't you? Crow is. <laughs> well. I'm starting to think the universe just doesn't want us getting to Atlas. Hmm. It's just a flat tire. I'm sure there's a spare. It's not just that. It's everything. everything. Storms, crashes, monsters. I'm so tired. Damn. Me too. It feels like we're always having to fight to get by. Yeah. But that's what we signed up for. Yeah. We signed up to try and save the world. Not just delay the inevitable. Wow. Last <laughs> night, I... What? I couldn't stop thinking. Why are we even Damn. going to Atlas? Yeah. No matter what we do, at the end of the day, we can defeat Salem, so like... Weiss, we have to. Why? Oh, shit. Osbin hid the relics behind giant doors under enormous schools. But how long would it take Salem to find a lamp in the middle of nowhere? But... The Grim might... They'd find it eventually, sure. But bury it or just throw it down the well, it would take years. It might not even happen in our lifetime. Damn. But we could be done with it now. Wow. Wow. Dude. That's interesting. That's a, that's a fair point. Damn. She's not gonna do it. She's not gonna do it. Really tired. Wait. Wow, she's tired. Everyone's saying that they are tired. Huh. No way. Don't do it. Don't. There's a grim down there. Yeah. Shit. They're gonna take the fucking relic. No way. They are all tired. Look, you can see in their eyes. They are all tired. Shit. Dude, dude, that's bad. That's really bad. Hey, it's okay. You just said you're tired. It was probably nothing. Now let's go. What's wrong with you? We can't just leave. We have to go down there. We have to get the lamp back. Oh, what was I thinking? All we have to do is fix this trailer. Hey, farm boy. Check the shed for a spare. Shit. <sighs> I'll go down with you. We'll go down together. Fine. Get the stupid lamp. Oscar, fix a stupid tire. Oh. 
Where are you going? Where do you think? Getting some more fucking drinks. Stupid. <laughs> okay. Dude. This is fucking interesting. Maybe the current carried it away. Hmm. No. A grin did. And that's fucking bad. Huh? Is it like a grim that can fucking fuck you? Like fuck your fucking... <laughs> wow, I just said too much fuck. But, uh... A grim that can mess up with your, like... Mind or something? Make you do things? Oh, come on, where is it? Turn off your lights and just... It's like, oh, the grim will never find it in this random place when, like... Okay. There is actually Grim here, so like, yeah, I can see maybe the Grim is making them think something, you know, just, oh. She's gonna get some information here? There. By reading in the, the diary? <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. The apathy, damn. Makes sense, yeah, apathy. Wow, interesting. Whoa. Guys, I... Run! Oh, that's creepy! Jesus, so many of them! Ah, oh, Creepy as hell! Oh shit. God damn. Oh, this is the scene from the opening, isn't it? All the creepy arms? Jesus, they look creepy as fuck, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, and they can fuck you up. What is this? My weapon. Yeah, make you heavy. tired and shit. No! Let's go, Grandma! Go, go! Yeah, let's go. Dude. Fuck! Even Grandma is getting affected by it. Well, it makes sense. But I just thought that maybe she had a plan or something, you know? Perhaps. Oh! Dude, this is creepy as fuck! God damn, it's like fucking zombies or something. Like, God... <laughs> this is so creepy! Shit. More and more of them. Everywhere. Bro. Oh, shit. I'm having chills. I'm watching a fucking horror story. It's not Ruby anymore. Come on. Come on, you gotta. Oh, shit. Can you open it? You gotta do this. Come on. Oof. Fuck! Blake, get up. It's fine. No! It's not fine. Fuck! That's how everyone here died. Because of these things. Were they always here and they didn't know when they built the farm? Or is it something where they... Appeared here one day when they didn't know. When they didn't notice, I mean. No! Blake! Oh! Oh shit, the eye thing! Nice, 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 nice! Okay, okay, okay. Activate your hidden powers! Let's do this. What just happened? Cool. We'll tell you later. <laughs> They're lost. Yeah. Out of my way. She's just gonna fucking kick the thing open. <laughs> Isn't she? Or punch it. Fuck! Again! Shit. Shit! Dude! The fuck? What now? Ruby. Yeah. What color are your eyes? Oh, she doesn't know! She... She knows about the fucking silver eyes! She knows! She knows! Old lady! You have a family? Friends? What? Don't think about them. 
Oh, don't think about that. Think about the people who love you. Interesting. Focus on the thought of death. The way they make you feel. Dude, good thing we have this old lady here. Focus. 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 Let's go. Life is beautiful. It is precious. Oh shit. And it must be protected. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's okay. Dude. The fuck? A big mystery still don't know are the, the silver eyes, right? That's something that is pretty cool that I want that I hope we get eventually in the story. Yeah, just look at this shit, dude. Like what are the silver eyes? We're looking at um the flashback for Salem Man Ospin. We didn't get any of that, so it's something completely different there. Yeah. Uncle Crow, get up! Yeah, quick. What are you doing here? Well, leaving, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Grandma. Dude. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Why? What you doing? We have to go now. What is wise planning? Oh, oh, she's gonna put the thing on fire. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Is that even gonna do anything to them? Now we can leave. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Stop What's wrong with you? What's... Just look. Yeah. <laughs> That's what wrong with them. Okay. Hopefully this works. Yeah. Damn, the house is on fire now. This whole place is gonna be... Wow, even with the bodies that were still inside, right? The apathy. The apathy. They're not strong or ferocious. Yeah. They drain your will to go on. Wow, that's fucking crazy. Bartleby's Pretty insane. Estate was hemorrhaging money towards the end. Oh. He wanted to cut costs on Huntsman protection. Wow. But in order to do that, he needed everyone calm. Always. No. Wow. That's the... fucked up. Back was miserable. That's fucked up. That's really the fucked up, dude. The waterway entrance. That's really fucked up. I'll do it tomorrow and tell her the truth once these things take the edge off of everyone. That's really fucked up. I'm... This motherfucker. Yeah. The next page proves that he did. But not before the rest of the pack followed their missing pair. Yeah, they he shouldn't have fucking played with Graham. My guess is they made their way beneath the estate through the water tunnels. That Bartleby sealed up the next morning. Bartleby's plan worked. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. No one was angry. Yep. Sad no one was. Scared. They just let them fucking... No one was in yeah. yeah. Damn. <laughs> and then I'm tired. No was left. Wow. Wow. That was pretty good. I really like this. Okay. Damn. And she just drops it. Wow. Damn. This was a pretty cool. I'm sorry for yeah. what I said. About giving up. Pretty cool, like little arc, you know. Me too. Nice. You can't quit until the lamp is safe. Right. It's not your fault. It was those things. I should have known. The signs were all there, but I'd never seen an entire settlement. Wow. So she had like probably that. seen the apathy before, yeah. I suppose my mind. That's why when she saw it, she like right away knew what's up. Miss Calavera, how do you know so much about the Grim? And in the tunnels, you knew exactly... Yeah, 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 yeah. She knows about the, the silver eyes. Do that. How? Well, isn't it obvious, girl? Huh. 
I have silver eyes. Ah! Ah! Oh, Makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I'm dumb. I'm fucking stupid. All right, guys. So that was Ruby Volume Six, Chapter Six. God damn, that review was really well done. <laughs> wow. Okay, I gotta say it was really well done. It was really well done. That reveal that she had silver eyes in the past. God damn. What the fuck does the silver eyes even mean? Are we getting that in this volume, man? Like an explanation as to what they are? Like, why do they exist in the first place? You know? That would be fucking interesting if we got that. But yeah, uh, really like this this chapter. I like that. Yeah, as I thought, we did get a, a fight with the Grimms. But like, it wasn't a fight in the traditional sense, right? It was more like a trying to run away more like a horror fucking thing right uh which makes sense it's kind of the 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 theme of the past couple of uh chapters but yeah i really like it really like it uh i just i don't like horror much okay gotta say like i get you know like fucking chills all over my body and it's pretty fucking creepy i don't really i'm not a huge fan of that sensation you know what i mean but uh we got that in here god damn it <laughs> But yeah, you know, like, yeah, I can tell that was well done because of that, because I felt the same sensation that I feel while watching, like, a horror thing, you know? Uh, so, yeah. Dude, the fact that this old lady, she had the silver eyes, and now what she has in here are, like, fucking mechanical eyes, all right? So, like, I wonder if someone took her eyes, like, some of Salem's man, maybe, or something? I don't know. Someone took her eyes eventually, or maybe it was an accident. Who knows, right? We're probably going to get that soon. Going to get, like, a backstory or something. But, yeah, uh okay okay volume six not disappointing me uh the first three chapters were better of course i mean probably not the first two like chapter three is what made the last set better than this one but this one like overall speaking you know if, if you count only chapters one and two this one was better i feel like you know i like it all the character moments all the 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 eerie and creepy stuff uh really good stuff i like it um yeah Ruby, uh, with this old lady here, with Maria, Maria is her name, right? She's gonna probably learn even more about the, the Silver Eyes and learn how to control it, and that's gonna be helpful in the future. And yeah, pretty excited to see where we go next, next couple of chapters. Next time, I think we are gonna... Like, next week, if I am consistent, we should end V6, actually, you know? Like, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. If I can, it's gonna be fucking... Awesome. Of course, it's gonna be two videos, not just one, okay? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be two videos, one of four chapters and one of three. Um, but yeah, definitely looking forward to that quite a bit. Hope you guys are as well. Hope you enjoyed my reaction to this. If you did, thumbs up, comment below, tutorial, and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, hit the bell icon to be notified on new videos. Join this core links in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.